Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. Make sure you guys check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Welcome to Lovely News Networks. I have a story and it's coming from my third favorite state, crazy ass California. So what's going down in crazy Cali, you ask? What's going down is this. We have some more little demonic ass children out here just doing some damn fuck shit, okay? So we have these little girls, their grandfather died recently. So instead of them spreading his ashes in the backyard or in the damn ocean, they decide to take his ashes and put it in some homemade baked cookies, okay? And instead of these little girls eating these cookies for themselves, they then decide to take these cookies to their high school and pass it out to a few students, okay? So some of the kids were eating the cookies and they said that the cookies tasted weird. And at that point, the girls started laughing. They admitted that they put their grandfather's ashes in the cookies. This story is making national news. This is just really freaking disgusting, okay? I want you guys to go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Davis police are investigating a disturbing report that high school students made cookies mixed with cremated human remains and then handed them out to their classmates. Thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. I'm Julissa Ortiz. Police say the cookies were passed out to a number of unknowing students at Da Vinci Charter School. CBS 13's Lori Wallace has the latest on the investigation. A disturbing story in Davis police say this is a first for them. They are working right now trying to identify two students from Da Vinci Charter Academy here in Davis who are part of this morbid baking plan, putting a relative's remains into the ingredients. The remains allegedly belong to one of their grandparents. Police are investigating whether as many as nine classmates ate the cookies. I have not heard of anybody getting sick or anybody being harmed as far as physically or physiologically by this. When I saw the headline, I was I was thinking about thinking like that's like an onion headline, like that's not real. There's no way someone made cookies with their grandfather's ashes. A Davis Joint Unified School District spokesperson did issue a statement reading in part, this case has been particularly challenging and we have responded appropriately and in the most respectful and dignified way. We tried to talk to a lot of students on campus here, didn't want to go on camera, but said they did have friends who ate these cookies and had heard a lot about the story. I'll send it back to you. Well, what happened two weeks ago? Um, Two weeks ago, I was just about to go into my sixth period class, environmental science, and um, a girl who's also in the class stopped me and asked me if I wanted a cookie. Um, and I knew her, so, you know, I figured it's a cookie, why not? And uh, I took a bite of it, and she told me there's a special ingredient in the cookie. And I had assumed that, that she, I was kind of worried, I thought that she had put drugs in it or something. So I asked her if, I was like, did you, is this a weed cookie or something? And she said no. Um, she said it was her grandpa's ashes. Uh, and then she kind of laughed. And I was, I was really, I was kind of horrified. Um, but class was just about to start and I wasn't exactly sure what to do. So I just, I held the cookie in my hand um, and I walked into the class. And right when we got there, uh, we were supposed to have about 40 minutes of work time just at the beginning of class and we weren't supposed to like move or get out of our seats or anything so I um, I just kind of had the cookie there in front of me while I was working um, yeah I, I wasn't sure what to do what did it taste like um, it, the the taste itself wasn't really any different but uh, like if you ever ate sand as a kid um, you know you can kind of feel it crunching in between your teeth so there was there was a little tiny bit of that but the, the percentage of it that was ashes was, was very, very small. All right, y'all just watched that disturbing ass news story. And I love how that damn reporter was like, what did it taste like? Like, what the hell do you mean what it tastes like? It probably tastes like musty socks and damn old ass Ben Gay. Like, what the hell is it supposed to taste like? Probably like ashes and everything else. The point is not about the taste of the damn cookies. The point is it should not have been done. This is some sick ass shit. And then when I speak on it, y'all say I'm a conspiracy theorist. But I've been telling y'all for a while they've been trying to normalize cannibalism. And I really believe that. If you guys don't know, a year ago, a CNN anchor, he was talking to this cannibalistic group out there in India. And on national television, this sick man decided to eat a human brain. And so he caught a lot of backlash for that. 
dad. He caught a lot of flack. And I've just been noticing that there's been like more stories, more books, more articles of people practicing cannibalism. And I feel like they're trying to normalize it. So much so that Netflix even has a show about cannibalism called the Santa Clarita Diet, okay? And Santa Clarita is out there in California where this strange case takes place, okay? And Santa Clarita is a really quiet town. You know, folks out there got money and shit like that. And basically the premise of this show is that something happens to the mother and she can't stop eating raw meat and eating people. It's just really disgusting. I have not watched the entire show. I don't want to watch the entire show because I'm not about to fall into this damn propaganda. I want you guys to watch this small snippet and clip of the Santa Clarita diet. Go ahead and check this out. I do like the way that I feel. I have endless energy and I sleep two hours a night. I get so much done. You eat people. I know. It's just that I'm so much more confident. I can parallel park in one move now. I will survive. All right, so you guys just saw the clip of that show, and Drew Barrymore is the star of the show. So like I said, I feel like they're trying to normalize cannibalism and trying to make it seem like it's an okay thing. And maybe these girls got that idea to do that to their grandfather's ashes because of shows like The Santa Clarita Diet. So this entire situation is just disturbing. What I would say is, unless you're buying something from the store, unless you're making it yourself... You know, just, just just don't mess with, you know, random girls who are offering you cookies and treats and shit. This is why when I worked in corporate America, I rarely ever ate people's potluck. Because one, a lot of folks be having cats and shit and, you know, cat hairs and cats be walking on their counter. So I don't eat a lot of people's potluck. If I didn't make it myself or bring it myself, I'm not really fooling with it. And it's just unfortunate. You can't even trust other people's cookings. It's really sad that somebody would do this and think that this shit was funny. I feel really bad for the kids who ate this man's ashes. That is disgusting as hell, Okay, you know, it's one thing if this was their grandfather and they wanted to do it, but it's another thing for somebody to do this to somebody and then they eat it unbeknownst to them. So it's really sad and sick. Those girls definitely should be suspended. And I don't know if, you know, they can be arrested for this. I don't know if this is against the law, but they definitely should be psychologically evaluated to make sure that they're not, you know, doing worse things behind closed doors. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing ass situation. Once again, coming from our third favorite state, Crazy ass California. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.